So in this video, I want to show everybody how to load and work with the Zen Estimate installation profile for Zen Estimate Steel 2022. Uh, this pro profile is it's primarily for calculating steel uh, installation and its uh, labor related and material related costs. All right, so number one, make sure Zen Estimate Steel 2022 is installed. Then we're just going to go up to the review drop down. We're going to go to profiles and we're going to set the Zen Estimate Steel installation profile current. That's going to bring up all of our standard 2000 plus uh, array of tools for you to work with. And it's also going to make sure that you've got all of the standard column data that you're going to need. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to do what I've done in some of the other videos. I'm just going to real easily go in and we're going to go to our uh, HSS square here. Right, and we're just going to add in a couple of five by five by quarter uh, columns here pretty quickly. I'm just going to drop on one here, one here, one here. Call it good enough for today. Right, and then I'm going to go in, I'm going to throw in a, uh, a six by six uh, beam, right? So or, yep, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to run that beam like I've done in, in other videos. It's going to go from here to here. Then I'm going to go from this uh, center line over to this one. And we'll call that good enough for today. And that's what I kind of want to focus on, right? Because now we get into labor related items. We have to start doing things like not just putting in the, the beams and how, you know, how heavy they are and what the, the ordering cost is and the weight per ton. Really just start looking at what it's going to cost to put these beams in place, right? What kind of equipment we're going to use and even what kind of connections we have to deal with, right? So if I want to go in here and say, look, I need to put in, you know, weld point connections. Maybe we're going to weld at that connection point and over here are going to be weld connections. Then I'm going to throw in some bolted connections, right? I'm going to need bolt connections here and here, right? So I can go in and tag where I'm going to have to put those kind of connections. And then once I've got all of my tools in, I've done all my takeoff, I've got everything laid out the way that I want. Or you can do it one at a time, up to you. But I want to show you guys that you can go in here and you can start working with all of these individual components. So let's start up here with the idea of these welded connections that we have at either end. Right in here, number one, I can go right in. You see, I've got a whole series of uh, columns here. So I can go in, I can choose what the weld size is. Maybe these are quarter inch welds. What's the weld length? Well, I know that, you know, for each side of this, I'm going to have to go in, I'm going to have to put in a, you know, two eight inch welds. So it's, you know, a one point, you know, maybe my math is off, 1.5 feet total on each one. And it's going to multiply that out based on the number of, of welds, components, count items that I have here. Right? And then I can go in, I can start putting in, well, how many estimated hours? How long is it going to take them to run that weld? Well, half an hour to do the weld. Um, and then I can actually go in and I can start to either calculate my labor costs, either based on an hourly crew rate or a, a per foot labor unit cost. Either one works, whichever one you guys are working with. So I'll just go and put in a labor unit cost and say that, you know, we're usually charging five dollars you know, a, a foot. OK, for materials on a weld, right? it's two dollars a foot. Um, Equipment, right? Maybe you know you have to lease and rent or subsidize the uh, the equipment that you're using, and that's another buck fifty a foot. And you see that it's calculating for you your base cost, giving you a total cost of twenty dollars to run those welds. Don't know if that's an accurate number, but we'll go with it. And I can still apply condition adjustments in here. So if you know you guys are working like twenty one stories up and they're getting some extra pay for you know being way up there, we can add in a you know a, an overage factor for that. And we can do the same thing for our bolted connections. See, when I go in here, I can go in, I can set how many bolts, right? For each one of these connections, I'm going to need four bolts at each connection point. What size? There are going to be, you know, a half inch bolts. And then same thing. I can go in and put in maybe, you know, why? I don't know why it'd be different, but we're going to go in and say for bolts to go in, that's going to be a quarter of an hour. It only takes 15 minutes. Uh, we're charging by an hourly crew rate of $125 for the whole crew to work on it. You need multiple people. Material, we're going to cost, you know, $250 for the bolts okay equipment we don't really need any and again we can throw in whatever uh, adjustment we need for the bolts on there and it'll calculate the total cost for installing your bolts and we do the same exact thing for each particular segment right so if we want to grab these six by six beam here i can set the size so that i'm aware of exactly you know which particular items we're going to be putting in here and i can go in and i can set the overall column heights for columns and beams and then I can go in and I can set all those same setups, right? How many hours is it going to take to put this six by six beam in, right? That should take two hours. We're going to do that at, at a cost per foot. We figured that out. It's, you know, $75 a foot. For the materials uh, per foot, we know that it's costing, you know, $35 per foot for that. 
we're going to have to rent the crane and that's going to be $15 they charge us by the foot. Okay. And again, right, we can go to the side here, right, continue on and say, hey, a condition adjustment, we're going to have to pull those in from 300 foot away. Right. So there's a slight upcharge for that. And you see that to do that individual component 2147. That's the idea that you can go in very easily lay out, do your takeoff and then use this particular profile to handle all of your installation, labor and material costs for everything that you're doing. Keeps great track of all of this data. And just like all of our other profiles from here, you have the option to go in and actually enter all of that data over on the properties on the side panel as you click items, each object gives you the ability to just go in and add all the information on the side if you prefer that way. Or you can just go in at the end, you can still just export it out to a CSV summary to generate a full-blown estimate okay, that comes up and here you go, here's your entire labor cost for this particular job broken down for you. And you can even take and you can integrate our Zen Estimate Steel 2022 tools into your pre-existing Excel spreadsheets just by using the Bluebeam Review for Extreme uh, quantity link tool to link to our tools. And then as you put things on to your plans, they'll update into your Excel spreadsheets in real time. That's the kind of functionality you get with the Zen Estimate installation profile for Zen Estimate Steel 2022. Everything you need for your labor costs.